Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Regular Dave, and I'm just doing a little comparison video on the tackling in All Pro Football 2K8 and the tackling in uh, Madden 11. Um, and I'm going to show you just a couple of clips of uh, how one gets it right and one fails. Um, here goes All Pro Football 2K8, a consecutive hit tackle, the actual defender converging on the ball carrier, um, actually going over his teammate's back to make sure that the uh, ball carrier doesn't get any more yardage. This is definitely tackling down right. Um, 2K8 gets the tackling right over 95% of the time. The tackling is spot on. Um, here's another another example. Two defenders converging on the ball carrier. Um, this video is solely about tackling. It's not about blocking. It's not about anything else other than tackling. But, um, yeah, here's the, the, those are the first two clips. Third clip. Um, Guy breaks a tackle and uh, goes into an animation, you know, a stumbling animation, and the animation branches off, off as all the animations in NFL 2K8, or I'm sorry, All-Pro Football 2K8 do, and boom, they converge on the ball carrier. Um, and the key is the animations branching out. Um, the, you, this game doesn't fall victim to getting stuck in any animation. Here's one, the guy's fighting for extra yardage, they're not stuck. The defender comes in, doesn't let the ball carrier dictate where he's going to go with his back turn. Um, the, the ball carrier has no ideas there, and he comes. The, the tackler comes in, doesn't let him gain any extra yardage. Um, he's not going to let the ball carrier dictate, you know, where this play is going to go, even because his back is turned. Um, you know, nothing. Everything's natural. Everything's flowing. He's fighting for the yards, but the guy comes and cleans it up as he should. This is the only possible thing that can result in a play like this, and it happens. And uh, 2K gets it right all the time um, with the tackling. And I'm going to show you instances of 9/11 getting it wrong. Um, and there is actually the thing that is so upsetting about Madden 11 is is basically a slap in the face because they instituted protact which I'm going to show you, they instituted ProTac to basically let us know um, that we, we know this needs to be in the game, and yet they let the, the ProTac happen about, I'd say, less than 40% of the time, maybe 30% of the time, uh, can multiple hit tackles engage. Here's when it happens correct. Um, Reggie Wayne's coming across the middle, catches the ball, and he's going to get hit by two people, as he should. And this is basically a slap in the face because it's telling us that they know it should be in the game, yet they choose to show it so rarely. So rarely. Look at this. I mean, this is a consecutive attack. They are in Madden. Um, this is the way it was supposed to happen. And I'm solely talking about tackling. And that's, that is the way it's supposed to happen. Um, and I, you know what? I, I've never been one to criticize developers and programmers because I don't know how hard their job is. I don't do their job. I've never been one to call them lazy. But when this happens, and sometimes, uh, you know, a staple of the game is in the game, and sometimes it's not. I mean, that that seems like they're not doing their job. They're, you know, being lazy because this is the way it's supposed to play out, and it plays out like this so few times. Um, catches the ball and they both converge and knock him to the ground, no extra yardage gain, and the play looks good. And if Madden played like this, we know it'd be a better game. This is when uh, everything can go haywire, and basically it boils down to some animations. Most animations cannot branch out. At least 70% of animations cannot branch out um, into consecutive hit tackles. So the ball carrier is wrapped up. The guy has him dead to rights, and what does he do? He falls to the ground. Um, one of the biggest problems I have with the game is that the developers have tried to trick us to make it seem like they are doing something when they are not. And it's basically a slap in the face saying we won't know the difference. Uh, in fact, in full speed, we won't know that the, you know, the guy just falling to the ground for no reason. Just falling down. Um, and it doesn't fly with me. It doesn't fly with me as a simulation gamer. Um, because this is a key characteristic of a of a sport tackling. It's the foundation of the game, and the developer, um, basically, the programmers are trying to pull a fast one, giving us an illusion, um, and a not not a very good one. Because I mean, it, it's like you could break the game down within 
you know, one game, you could break it down to which animations can engage in ProTac and which ones can't. Um, here we go. The animation engages. You got Bob Sanders, when healthy, the hardest hitting safety in the game. And, you know, he relishes moments like this. And what does he do? He falls to the ground. And, I, you know, I'm, I'm just not all right with this being in the game. Uh, no game is perfect, but all pro football 2K8 shows, you know, the way it should be. And this shows the way, it, you know, the way it shouldn't. And it happens way, way too often. Like probably, I say in more than 70, 75 percent of the time this happens. Wait. <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me, where the game does not get it right. Um, and 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 they've tried to trick us, which is like basically insulting our intelligence. Here, here it goes again, where the game gets it horribly wrong, horribly wrong. The guy um, comes up basically and runs into the back of his teammate, but just falls on the ground basically. And basically this is a programmer trying to say the 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 animation is engaged. There's no pro tack that can happen. So, you know, since the player is rendered useless, we have to have some kind of animation. So let's make it seem like he's doing something. And you get, you see this in Madden over and over and over, play after play, and it's unacceptable. Um, it, it could quite, quite possibly be considered nitpicking if NFL 2K5 and All Pro Football 2K8 didn't exist. You know, we would have no baseline to go from. We would say, you know, we've never seen the game, so it would be something we'd like to see in the game. Um, I'd say pretty much 90% of the videos that people make on Madden are not things that they would like to see in the game. They are things that have been in previous games. That is what is so infuriating. Um, here's one where there's a ball morph. I don't care about the ball morph. It um, happens. It's a video game. You know, we've I've accepted that, that, you know, what the ball shouldn't have went through his hands, but whatever. I can get over that. It's, you know, it's just, you know, it's probably some, some programming that didn't go right. I don't care. But once they try to trick me again, one safety figures out, yes, I should wrap this guy out, wrap this guy up. The next guy next to him should think the same thing. No, he falls to the ground because this animation is engaged and he's rendered useless. Um, he just falls to the ground in the fetal position for no reason, and it's an illusion to make it seem like he's doing something. It may be tricking some of the people, but it, it's not tricking me. It's not tricking the people's videos I watch. It's just a game being lazy and not having all their animations branch out. Um, I definitely got more videos to come, but I just wanted to show you this comparison and tackling. Hopefully they get it right in 2012.